Now, in regards to cleaning biological filtration, um, how often the biological f filtration needs to be cleaned is very much governed by how dirty it is. So in this case, we've got a bit of polyfilter on the top, and then we've got some marine pure and some matrix whacked in here. So the most important thing about cleaning biological filtration is that you never clean it in water from the tap, because obviously we want the, the bacteria not to be exposed to the chlorine. You only ever want to clean it in water from the fish tank, not water from the tap. And how often it should be done is governed by how dirty it is. So if you open up your filter on the back of your Nano, or if you look at your filter, if it's a sump, or if you open up your filter, which is a canister filter, or if you have something like a little hang-on filter, or if you have a little internal filter, regardless of the type of filter that you have, you need to get an idea of how long it takes for yours to get dirty. So medias like polyfilter are, are massively going to improve how often you need to clean your biological filtration because it will mean that the aquarium just purely stays cleaner. But um, no matter what you do, there's going to be a pattern. So therefore, if you find that you clean your filter once a month and there's not much garbage in it once a month, then by all means you could do it once every two months. Then if you find it's quite clean every two months, then you could do it every three months. But once again, there will be a pattern for what you do. And there will also be a lot of stuff that you can do to improve... Um, how often it needs cleaning. For example, products like um, Aquarium Detox, which is this. What this does is add um, various strains of bacteria from mud that actually assimilate, which means um, break up, which actually means consume the solid waste, which will um, therefore reduce how often the filter needs to be cleaned. So as a general rule, I'd be suggesting cleaning your canister filters once a month. I'd be suggesting cleaning your internal filters once every week. I'd be cleaning hang-on filters probably about every two weeks. Um, all governed by how dirty they are. So once again, cleaning the tank water, not tap water. So all it would be a matter of doing is taking the filter apart regardless of what filter it is, taking the biological media out, draining some water out of the fish tank into a bucket, rinsing the media, tipping off the dirty water, putting the media back into the filter again, and making sure that you're filling the filter up with tank water, not tap water, so there's never any exposure for the bacteria in the filter for um, chlorine, and even, even adding a little bit of bacteria starter after you do the filter clean is quite a good idea. So every aquarium is different, but there's some guidelines just to give you some idea of how often you should be cleaning the filter. Um, another thing that does make an impact too is the way that you clean the gravel. If you do do a water change and you um, use a gravel cleaner, which is one of these things, then that'll pull all your detritus out of the gravel and the, the thick black that comes out will amaze you and that will obviously also in, improve how often your filter needs cleaning. So um, at most, I'd be looking at it once a month unless you're really confident with your system and you know that it stays clean once a month. Another variant too is the quality of food that you're adding. If you add very high quality foods such as Spectrum, you will also find that your filters stay cleaner. And make sure you don't overfeed.